Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Warrior 2. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Well, nothing of importance happened al along the trip, apart from Talent hitting level 8, in which he gained Stop Spell, which works exactly as it did in previous games. Haha! Take that, punks. Right. Gwen, of course, uh, has an overall attack power of four. Two points from the from the bamboo stick, and two more points from her strength. But she's a magic user. She's allowed to be a weakling. <laughs> ah, there's the cave we want. In this cave, we will be able to find the silver key. But it is not in this box. Ow. This cave is fortunately of, a uh, rather little danger to us. Matter of fact, I think the game intends for you to come and do this, to come and, and do this part, uh, before you, before you've rescued the princess. Nope, not that way. Oh dear. Well. Aha! Perhaps we have a solution. Yes, we do. Oh, that the ants can't put us to sleep. They're of minimal threat. If only Talon could hit something. It's actually more tactically useful for Gwen to, de to defend herself than it is for her to attack. Just such a... She has such a low likelihood of even hurting the enemies that... Um, yeah. She's not casting a spell. Just defend yourself. Especially since she's still armed with her default equipment. Which is just a set of clothing. And, well, she's not able to equip the leather armor. I, I haven't checked, but I'm... Mostly certain that she can't equip the that she cannot equip the chainmail. So there's no armor available for her yet, as of yet. Yeah, we can expect her to die a lot, sadly. Thus, we can get some levels so that she can help us kill things before they can before it can kill her. Speaking of levels... Oh, it was rueful. Power increased by three. End of list. <laughs> Let's see... Box! Money! Yay! I don't think there's a... there's really anything of... incredible note or value in this place. Most of the of the chests either contain money or herbs. At least one of the chests somewhere in here has wings of the wyvern. And those things are expensive, so... It's, that's the big part of why I'm actually searching the boxes. I know exactly where the silver key is, but let's not be silly. It is, of course, in the deepest, furthest, hardest to reach box in in the cavern. But we all expected that. Okay, so what's over here? Nothing. Right, on. Let's make our way downstairs. Just this way, of course. We should be able to kill this thing before it puts people to sleep. Yay! 
And the winner is... Gwen! Okay. Ooh. Sweet. Alright, what spell did you get? Ah, the one that makes you useful. Infernos! I believe it costs, costs four magic points, but it's a group attack. More importantly, it's an attack spell. Let's make use of it. That hits a lot harder than Fireball does. Four magic points. Yeah. That's going to be her bread and butter spell for a long time to come. No real reason for it not to be, either. Alrighty. Nothing. And this one we have... Box. Drugs. Hooray! Nothing. Uh. Aha! Antidote. That could come in handy. Means we can be a little less frugal with Talon's magic pool. Granted, using Talon's magic pool would, uh, chiefly require to have enough enemies that Rufal can't just kill them all in one shot. This guy counts. Yay! Fireball that hits that hard could potentially one-shot that guy. Alrighty. So, last boxes of the bunch. There's the wings. What do we got here? Is this a magic dagger? No? Dang it. I could have sworn there was a magic dagger in here. Or a magic knife. Which is the weapon Talon's equipped with. Sadly, it seems I'm mistaken. Uh, what can you do? Kill a bunch of snakes, of course. Hmm. Take that, punks! This is the point in the game where you start seeing a lot of similar enemies that are not in the same group, just to spite you from using King Infernos. Ah, army ants. The... Army ants really are not worth your time to fight. They have ten hit points, I mean, so they're easy to kill. But they call for help. Now, usually that would mean that they're good for grinding on, but, um... Yeah. 5 XP a pop. And 2 gold pieces. Yeah, they more waste your time in magic than anything else. But, here's the key we came for. Yay! Now I just need to remember where there were silver doors. Oh, can you go to Gwen? Excellent! It's exactly where I wanted it. Well, I'm gonna get out of this cave and then we'll go take a look at what's behind the silver doors. Let's see. The one in the left line has the lottery, so it'd just be the dialogue from the ones in Minden Hall. So, I'll get there, and I'll bring it back. See you in a moment.
You know what? While we're in the neighborhood of a place that has a lottery, we should show it off. Have two tickets. So. Flounder through the inventory to find the key. And speak to the Lotto Man. Yes. Sure, tell me how it works. Lottery wheels spin. Push the push the button to stop them. They do not stop immediately. Three sons. Sons are first prize. A golden card. Golden card will reduce will reduce the price ice of all items from shops by two three quarters of normal, which is conveniently what they sell at. Three stars, stars will win a wizard's ring, which will restore ma magic points when used. Chance of shattering every time it's used. Oh, you jerk! Yes, let's play. Let the wheels spin! We got a heart! The sun! And we totally lose. Three hearts is a medical herb. That's the only one I really remember. However, if, you, if the first two wheels match and the third one fails, then you get a consolation prize of another lottery ticket. Yeah, some other time. I need to get to Midden Hall just so, just so I can talk to some people. Aha! Alrighty. Doors! I remember them! Dragon's Bane, Magic Charm. Keep one safe from spells. Hmm. I don't know whether he's whether he's right or wrong on that. What? What? I, I I don't get it. <laughs> maybe that will make. Maybe she'll say something different later on. You do not need to face the face the door to or to use a key to open it. In fact, when you use the key, it will open all of the appropriate doors nearby. Hello, sir. Royalty should not venture into prisons such as this. Eh, I'm not gonna wait for him to come to the bars. We'll be coming back to this place later. Speaking of, speaking of, let's venture down this way and act and uh, meet with the with the guy who lives in the monolith to the south of here. Because we can. All right, I'm stalling because the next major, because the next major thing that will happen is a lot of grinding. Can you blame me? Stupid slimes. Oh well, at least enemies will run. Let's see, how do I get there? <laughs> Total waste, but why not? Is it just south? I have no memory of the layout of the land. Out of the way, punk. Aha! Hello, sir! Recommended I talk to you. Okay. Oh. 
Go only with a friend, or thou shalt surely fall. Wow. Good to know that that, uh, that was the informant about the silver key. Right. Well, I'm going to do some grinding so I can get so I can get the group geared up for adventures around Hamlin. We'll, we'll bring you back when we're ready to go on said adventures. We'll see you then. Later.